Man, shit, I don't know. Scorpio are fucking up. Hell, I don't know. Shit. Did, you bang any, did you bang any of those fly girls? No, you know, Come as on, much man. as I wanted to bang them funkettes, the only reason I didn't is because I was married to a, a crazy <laughs> Georgia Peach. Uh-huh. I was married to a crazy Georgia Peach at that time. Okay. You know what I mean? Which who would have smashed them funkettes because she was about 200 damn pounds of damn self. <laughs> so she would have just smashed them funkettes. But anyways, yeah, so I was like, I wasn't even trying. And I was taking my daughters. I was taking my my daughter and my stepdaughter to, to the say shows. That your ex-wife and, isn't like most girls. No, my ex-wife will beat the hell out of most girls. Okay, <laughs> that's all I can say. That's all I'm gonna say. She wasn't no little woman. She was a full Georgia peach. Nice. I'm talking about full Georgia peach. Nice. I had every bit of a Georgia peach. <laughs> we got about three minutes, Farrell. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, okay. Let me at least ask him about at the end of his time with Vince. Uh, you requested time off for personal reasons, from what I've read, but you were released instead. Is this true? Um, I was released. But it was because of my own cognates. All right. Um, I felt I was getting a little bit too far gone on that Jenny Craig Craig diet. Mm -hmm. I started missing shows. I started doing it. So when I realized that I had a problem was we did a show in Phoenix. I went out there. We worked there. We got to Phoenix. I went out there to the hood, found somebody with some oatmeal. Next thing you know, I had a rock full of oatmeal. I'm sitting in the room. I'm getting geeked out. I do the show. Um, I'm supposed to get on the flight the next day. I'm, I'm so damn high and shit that I can't even get on the flight to go home. I'm going home to Denver. My hometown where I live, having a show, my mom is coming, my grandmother's going to be there, all my cousins, all my family, my stepmom. said, I got the whole damn family going to show up. I got everybody in town, all everybody out there in Denver. They show up out there to Denver, I'm still in Phoenix. I get a call, where you at? I'm still in Phoenix. I get a call, where you at? Three days later, I'm still in Phoenix. <laughs> Shit, four days, I'm still in Phoenix. I finally get a flight. I done missed the show in Denver, my home damn town. My mom's calling, my grandmother's calling, everybody's calling you okay? You're okay? You know, I got to that point where I don't got too damn paranoid. I couldn't even answer the damn phone. So now I got the office calling. I got people calling. And they got to call the front desk to find out if I'm still there. Yeah, he's still here. I ain't checked out yet. I changed my ticket about five, six times. Finally, I got on a ticket, went home, called Jim Ross. Um, I was in the middle. I was like, okay, I got to get my shit together. So I finally went home and shit high as hell. I packed up my kids. Called the ex-wife up. Like, Yo, having hard times. I'm going to have to bring the kids back out to you to Denver. So I loaded up the car, loaded up the kids. Kids, my oldest was probably about 11 at the time. I loaded up the car, smoked my way, drove the kids all the way back out to Denver and shit. Mm. Got out there, talked to Ross, and he's like, look, I need you to call me on Wednesday. I asked him, told him I need time off. I need to get some help. I had found out that they had uh, I had just sent Road Dog and one of the other guys, our ex to, to drug rehab, paid for it, da, 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 still had a job. So I'm thinking, well, damn, at least if I go to drug rehab or get the help, I'll come back out. I'll still have the job. Well, they told me to call him at Wednesday. I'll never forget this. Call me Wednesday, 12 o'clock. I said, yes, sir. I get back into town. I'll call you Wednesday, 12 o'clock. Well, come Tuesday, I'm decide I'm going to head out Tuesday night. You gotta start start driving. <laughs> start driving the kids back to Denver. So I start okay. driving the kids back okay. to Denver. And that Wednesday roll up. I don't call. I'm on the road. I'm traveling. There's no reason why I shouldn't have called, why I didn't call. I call him Thursday at 12. Call at 12, but a day later. Day late. Mm-hmm. And Jim Ross just figured it says, hey, look, I asked you to call Wednesday. You call Thursday. I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> that was that. You get yourself clean. You get yourself straight. You're more than welcome to come back for another tryout. Right. And-